Hello, my name is Andrew Flushi. I'm a Virginia traffic attorney. I talk to people quite often who mention that the officer did not clock a car next to them in traffic. Typically, these are people that I talk to who are charged with reckless driving, uh, which is a misdemeanor in Virginia. And they'll say, well, you know, I, I think I might have been going maybe the speed the officer claims, or I know I was speeding, but the officer didn't clock the car next to me or behind me or in front of me. I'm here to tell you, unfortunately, that just that normally doesn't matter. What matters is if your officer can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you were going the speed that he's claiming. He doesn't have to prove the speed of really any other vehicle on the road. Now, the one exception that I can think of to that rule would be that if there was a vehicle that crossed through the beam in the way that could have been impairing the officer's ability to get your speed, that might come into play. But otherwise, really all the officer has to prove, uh, the basic pieces are that he clocked you, that he did get the correct vehicle that he's claiming, that his equipment was calibrated and accurate on the day in question, and that his equipment read whatever speed he's claiming. There's many other little pieces, such as that he was wearing his uniform, displaying his badge, that it happened in the right county, all those things. But the actual speed determination is honestly relatively simple in many reckless driving by speed cases. And the important thing to remember is that unfortunately, he does not have to prove the speed of really any other car on the road in most cases. Uh, but if you have a question about something like that on your case, let's talk about it and see if maybe your case is one of the exceptions.